Where are her organs? Hello, my lovelies. Mads Mama Bear here, ready to talk about some pop culture news. And just today, the Black Widow fan art done on the DC superhero girl style, accused of sexualizing the character. Uh, today, artist Link Toon dropped a, well, actually a really lovely sketch, um, shown, about, uh, the Black Widow done in the style of DC superhero girls. And, I, honestly, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. But, of course, there are people freaking out about it because she has curves. <gasps> But the thing is, the D DC superhero girls style, a lot of them have really thin waists. And again, show a picture. I can link all of these pictures and the, the article down below as well. <laughs> People are freaking out at us. And I'm so tired of hearing this same argument. Oh, people, you know, people really aren't built like that. You know, and shouldn't, shouldn't draw it like that because, you know, where are her organs? Why is that always the go-to? She has skin. You shouldn't be seeing her organs anyway. But yeah, the, the, it's... Absolutely beautiful, and it was actually done in inspiration of the uh, Jake Scott Campbell design. That was a variant cover for Black Widow number one. Same pose, same backdrop, a little more cleavage, but that's okay. And she look, she looks hot, but yeah, people are going, stop sexualizing her. She's a badass, and how do you expect her to fight like this or even breathe? She's a cartoon. Get over it. Technically, she doesn't breathe anyway. She's ink. They added, this is disgusting. Delete or make a better version, a realistic version. You don't see drawings like that made for the male superheroes. These drawings are very sexist. Watch the damn cartoon. None of them are drawn realistically. What this, what this artist did was spot on. I mean, Zantana has a waist about the size of a pencil. And nobody's running around doing, you know, running, running around talking about that because she's covered up to here. Same with Wonder Woman. You know, she's got a thin, thin waist. Supergirl, all of them. They have that thin waist, you know, you know, breasts, ass, the whole nine yards. I know it's more language than you guys normally hear from me, but what can you do? Yeah, all of these people saying, this is disgusting. I vomit in my mouth. That you, Really, that's an overreaction. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to link this down below. The, these people are just crazy, freaking out over a drawing of a fictional character. And it's a good drawing, too. It, for the record, Black Widow... She is a normally sexualized character. That's part of her design. That's part of her function, actually, in the, in the comics. It, and they, they showed that right in Avengers, right away. She plays up on her looks to take advantage of her, her victims, the people that she is going after, of her targets. She lets them believe that she is a weak female, and that she's just some sort of eye candy or whatever, and some pretty thing that they can flirt with and do whatever. That's how she gets their guard down, and that's how she kick. That's how she really gets the chance to kick. But not saying that she isn't highly trained, which of course she is. But part of the character is that sexualizing. She does that as her strength, as one of her strengths. In Newsflash, this isn't a bad thing. Shoot, I, I, when I was a kid, I was quite, I was young when uh, Batman Returns came out. 
But even before that, I was watching the Batman reruns. You know, the old, you know, Bat-T-C, you know, brute, you know, old Batman TV series. And I fell in love with Catwoman right away. Because she was somebody who was strong, but still sexy, still beautiful and used that she was feminine and she used it and i was tired of this feminism this femininity being a bad thing you want to talk feminism fine talk feminism talk equal rights talk balance whatever but feminism should not be at the the cost of feminizing. I love my curves. I'm proud of them. And yeah, I flirt a lot. <laughs> this is no secret to anybody. I don't mind being feminine. I don't mind my kids seeing characters that are feminine. In fact, my kids saw the drawing. And she's like, this is hot. this is great, Mom. I love this. My seven-year-old thinks it's a great drawing. You who are freaking out about it, find something else to work to freak out about. Love y'all. Drop me a comment. Drop me a like. Share and subscribe, please, if this is your first time. Ciao.